Ladies. So just going over the webinar that I've done recently, um, which was on the SEO content template and the SEO writing assistant, which I've done with Fabrizio Ballerini. Um, but I'm just going to go over my part of the webinar again, just so that you can understand fully how the tool works um, and what it actually does. So first things first, where do you find the tool? As always with SEMrush. So obviously in the top left hand corner, you've got all tools and then you can break that down into content marketing kit. And if once you break that down, you'll be able to see the SEO content template and the SEO writing assistant are both here. So I'm just going to click on the SEO content template and you can see exactly what the tool does um, and how it works. So first thing is it tells you what the tool does. So it will tell you that we analyze your rival's content and give you ideas um, to writing winning optimized content. Um, so you enter the keywords you want to target. SEMrush will analyze the content in the, on the top 10 ranking pages and they'll give you recommendations on how to create SEO friendly content. So it's not something that's super hard to do. Now here, you can enter your target keywords and here you can select the correct database. So make sure if you're in the UK and whatever else, then you select all the correct options or change them to suit yourself. Um, so I've already got a pre-existing template here where I've just went for the keyword SEO Glasgow because that's where I'm based and stuff like that. So um, it will give you recommendations, which this big green button will allow you to export them to a document if you wanted to export those to show to a client. So the analysis based on the top 10 rivals, which lists all the top 10 rivals there. And basically what SEMrush does is give you key recommendations. So it's given me semantically related keywords. So we've got SEO company, SEO consultants, Glasgow based SEO services, all that kind of stuff. And it's also given me a place to try and acquire backlinks from as well. So you've got here, you know, a number of different well-known websites such as Screaming Frog, Backlinko, Bruce Clay, um, and there's the Hoth, and there's some other websites in there as well, which I'm assuming that the top 10 rivals have got links from as well, which is why SEMrush is telling me to potentially get those links too. Um, average readability score of the top 10 URLs is 54. And a recommended text length is 538 words. Now, these are kind of just guides. Now, there's no certain guideline. You have to write a specific amount of keywords, a, a specific amount of words to, to rank well. But this is all just based on what the competition's got, and it's great to use as a guide. So you'll be able to see there, you know, all the kind of other stuff that the, con the, the competition's got. And it's also got some basic recommendations here as well. So it's telling me to add at least one of my target keywords to the title tag. Don't use each target keyword more than one time. Um, and optimal title tag length, 55 characters. Meta description, 160 characters. It's also telling me to use the keyword in the header tag. And within the text, at least one time as well. Now, lots of people on the webinar are going to say, how many times do you need to add the keyword within a bit of content? You want to write the content so that it looks good for the customers, but you also have to, you know, add a keyword with a bit of common sense there as well. You can't, you know, expect Google to just assume what the keyword's going to be. You have to show what the keyword's going to be, and then you can use other semantically related keywords as well. Um, so that is basically what the SEO content template is. Um, now they've also got this part here, real time content check. And this is where it's going to check the content on my SEO Glasgow page. Now I don't actually have an SEO Glasgow page, it's my home page. I don't really do client work, so it's not something I focus on in a huge in a huge way. But it's given me a poor score, 3.8 out of 10, which I'd fully expect because my targeting on that page is not, you know, what I want it to be. 
Um, readability is giving me 54 and um, the target is 53.9 so I'm probably quite good in terms of the readability score. Now score definitions are here, you know, very difficult to read if it's a college graduate stuff understood by university graduates, a lot of kind of terminology relating to that kind of level of education. Um, you probably want something in the middle here. Uh, fairly easy to read or, or whatever. Mine's is apparently fairly difficult to read, probably because I'm talking about SEO and they're using words that, you know, general people might not want to understand. But that is the readability score. Again, just a guide. I've only used 407 words on that page. Don't really target the keywords. I've not got any kind of recommended keywords in there. Um, it's telling me the tone of voice is fairly formal and stuff like that as well. So, that is what the kind of real time content audit is. It gives you a score and it gives you a readability score and how many keyword, eh, how many words are in there, and various other things. And you can also set a writing task here as well. Um, so you can create a Google document um, as long as you've got the ad in and everything installed, and you can create a writing task and you know make sure that you're writing some SEO friendly content, which we'll go into in a minute. Um, so that is what the SEO content template is in a nutshell. There's no other major special tricks or anything that it does. It just gives you you know, a good overall comparison compared to the other competition in terms of keyword, uh, recommended keywords, semantically related keywords, readability, um, the volume of words on a page and stuff like that. So it's giving you good basics there. Um, on the top right hand side here, if you feel that there's anything else that this tool can do, you can send feedback in to SEMrush if you feel it could do this, that or the next thing. Um, so that is what the SEO content template does. It does go hand in hand with the SEO writing assistant. Um, now, you've got two options for the SEO writing assistant um, and it basically is a tool that allows you to follow the best recommendations. So you can get an add-on for Google Documents or you can get an add-on for WordPress, whatever suits you. Um, now, my recent um, template, I'm just going to go in here and check, basically gives me that there. Um, now, I can send that to Google Docs um, and I've got the add-in. The add-on already installed, but it's very, very easy to do. Um, now, I'm not going to show you that one. I'm going to create a new existing document. Now, basically what can happen here is I can open the Google document just by pressing the button. I can copy and paste the content in here, whatever I was going to use. And then I can click on the add-ons button here and it's going to give me the SEO Writing Assistant and I'm going to click Show. And it's going to give me this option in the right hand side which is going to tell me that the overall score of this particular piece of content on the Google Documents is poor. The language is, is probably too basic. It's not got enough words. Um, it's not. I've not got any recommended keywords in there. I've got no title. Um, I've got nothing going on and it's obviously highlighting all of that on there. So it's giving me recommendations just as the SEO content template does, but you can use Google Docs or you can get the WordPress plugin. So it's quite a cool feature to have. Um, on the right hand side here as well, we've got plagiarism. So take, check your text for plagiarized content. Um, you do have to log into your SEMrush account. Um, to check that out, which I'm going to do, prove, and I'm going to check so it's giving me a check there just now, just takes a second to check, it shouldn't be too long given that it's not a huge amount of content and it'll basically tell me if that content is plagiarized. So if you're outsourcing your content to someone, they give you it on a Google Doc, then you can go in here, use the SEO Writing Assistant, or get them to use the SEO Writing Assistant, and they can do all of these checks themselves before it comes to you for um, adding to a website. So 
that's what the plagiarism checker does. It's taking a bit of time there to load. But the SEO writing assistant basically is a guide as to what you can or what you should be writing. Um, now, there's a lot of other things you know we can talk about in terms of writing assistant and a lot of other ways that you can use the tool um, to benefit yourself. Um, you know, a lot of these kind of content. Um, tools then go hand in hand with topic research and stuff like that as well so you're you know using topic research and the all the as the kind of same rush tools do kind of work hand in hand as well but in terms of this tutorial that is what the seo content template is and that's what the seo writing assistant is um you can get the add-on just click on the blue buttons here get the add-on for google docs or get the add-on for wordpress and uh, you can download it it's very easy to do very easy to install and you don't have to use the data you know 100 you know and and follow it word for word or whatever but it's great to get an overall view of whether you're on the right track or not and then make your own adjustments and your own refinements um going forward so that is the tools in a nutshell and hopefully you know that gives you an overview of how to use them if you've got any questions do give same rush a shout and they'll be more than happy to talk you through um anything that you're struggling with